Hey everybody, Radaman here. Thanks for tuning in to Mount and Blade 2 Bannerlord, a Let's Play tutorial series, episode 33. Here's a little recap of our scenario settings. So, taking a little bit of advice from the comments from Andy and Balbor, I went through my entire encyclopedia for clans, clicking every single one and picking out the ones that don't currently have territory. So this is what it looks like if they do have territory. It shows the fiefs here. And this is what it looks like if they do not. Now some of these are going to be easier to recruit. Uh, like Menetios is going to be a little tough. I have a bad relationship with him. He has a lot of members. He's clan tier 5. But some of the easier ones might be uh, Tassinor. Who has him in, I'm guessing his wife maybe? Or sister? I don't really know. Doesn't really matter. But um, only clan tier 3 so on and so forth. And then what I did was I highlighted all of their last known locations here to get me a little bit of a map of where I'm going to head to. So let's go act upon that map. And Tassinor was actually one of the closest. Tassinor and Nikasor were the were two of the closest people at um, Tamna and Abauke. And that's where I'm heading first. I am moving further and further away from my own territory, so I'm just hoping that I don't end up in a war, but if I do, I'll just throw influence at it because I have a ridiculous amount of influence gain due to the policies I've taken. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean I, I shouldn't talk to anyone I see on the road. Like, let's say Miron. M-I-R-O-N. Uh, you are kid of Incurion, so there's no point in talking to you because Incurion makes the decisions where's the, the the pants, so to speak but um, at least I have a game plan and it's better than wandering around uh, this guy is a mercenary I recognize the name more mercenaries so we might get lucky trying to convert a vassal that has territory um, but more than likely we really have to go after the ones that do not have territory and then ideally go to war and grant them territory that's the idea Guzid you are vassal of Saruk so no point talking to you Karith you are clan tier 2 you own Temna Castle. Uh, I'm going to try to talk to you. Now, they do own fiefs. They own some land. So, it will probably be harder to convert. And already off to a bad start. With an ineffective conversation. Two ineffective conversations. Alright, so there's no way for me to win this. But I'll just continue the conversation anyway. Once you have two fails. Oh, three fails. Great. Three out of four fails. Okay, bye bye. All right, Nikasaur was the one that I wanted to talk to. Okay, so taking a look at his traits, he's honorable. So let me actually try the honorable approach here, and it's a critical success. All right, between armor, so these are equal chance. Let's go honor again. Okay, wasn't successful. Use my charm, my high charm score. And... Are you Valor? Okay, let's try the Valor. Critical success again. So, yes, my approach to this was right. Finding people that do not own land makes it easier for them to join. I'm going to pay him. And he is now joined my kingdom for a lot of money but hey you know i'll take it um all right let's go with respectful opposition because i don't really go into the tournaments anymore 30 percent chance to negate relationship penalty from kingdom decisions and additionally uh nikasaur Clan Shaughness can be taken off of my highlight. No longer bookmarked. Alright, there was another uh, noble um, 
who I was trying to track down, Philantes, Taznor Philantes, of the Philantes or whatever, um, who was last seen east of me. Or southeast. Oh, but, you know, I'm going to quickly detour to a bunch of these looters because I have a ton of recruits and it would be good so on them now! if we leveled up my recruits. Actually, you know what? Infantry! With me! I'm going to tell most of my companions to hang back so that we don't separate out the group and let Alda charge on her own. She needs uh, experience so much more than everyone else. Because she came of age as a totally unskilled combatant. Alright. Now I'm telling my infantry they're free to engage. And I will do the same. Ooh, should not ride straight into a spear. Good way to get a horse dead. Stop throwing rocks. You will bleed. A truer statement has not yet been uttered. Alright. Um... Let's go ahead and just farm all of them because my pole arms is two points away from uh, leveling up. So this is a bit of an XP grind for me. Unfortunately, I'm doing it by murdering fleers, but you know, I'm sort of merciful, right? All right, there we are. Lost one recruit, but uh, every single one of my recruits is ready to level up now. So it comes with great benefit. Um, here we are. Equal range and melee. And uh, let's continue on to this town. Trading away the garbage that these guys gave me. Eh, thousand dinars of garbage, but garbage nonetheless. Uh, and then let's take a look at, uh, yeah, I'm just looking at the armor, you know, shopping around. I'm not likely to buy anything because we might have to pay another, um, another potential vassal big sums of money. Oh, it also looks like my pull arm did benefit. Let's get swift swing. There it is. Boom. All right, so, Tazner, you were last seen around here. You aren't... Oh, yeah, you are literally just sitting on this town. Okay, so, your personality, Honest Valor. Uh, let's go with... Honor Valor. Okay, let's go with Valor Approach. Oh, ineffective. I barely know you, he says. Uh, have a little charm. More charm. Come on, give me a critical success chance. Oh, there it is. Oh, we're getting so lucky. All right. And again, here is another vassal. Because we, we did the homework. We figured out who doesn't have territory. And we realized that the ones without territory are the ones that are most likely to swap. Um... So that was Philantes. Done. Now, I did mark someone at Vostrum. I don't actually remember who specifically was at Vostrum. Oh, it was uh, this guy. Now, taking a look, it's likely I don't necessarily have money for him. Um, this is, of course, an issue. So, I think what I'll do, let's take a look at the kingdom strength here. Um... I'm going to lend support to some of these newly uh, invited vassals. And then I have a total strength of about 3,000, which puts me really within striking 
of the answer, Rai. As you can see, there are 4,700. Um, even Volandia is not too, too strong comparatively. So the idea here is to start a war where I think I might be able to take territory and give it to my vassals. And I can see that Garantor Castle is currently under siege. So probably... Oh, you know what? I just noticed that one of the people in the newsfeed, one of the groups here that I had marked as territorialist, just won Balgard. So I'm going to take Manateos off of my list. Uh, as he's no longer uh, going to be a landless noble. Here is another one of the ones that I wanted to talk to. Garantor Castle has been given to Ospir. Okay. Volandia and Northern Empire just made peace. Alright. So you are just a cruel person. So, not a whole lot of choices here. Um, but this conversation seems to be going well. My guess is I won't have the money. Oh, wow, but we have a success. Yes, I do not have the money. In fact, they're asking for a lot of money, considering the worth of my, um, my weapon here is a lot. If this is what 17k gets me, they're asking for like 100k. Um... So, I will leave them as a potential in the future. I think Vipon was another one of the ones that I wanted to talk to. I think I've talked to Vipon, though. Uh, Vipon is literally just his own clan. Now, even if I can't convince any more to join me... I feel pretty successful. Oh, yep, here we are. Another successful conversation. Alright, he is about as unreasonably... No, he's a little bit more cheaply priced than, um, than Sachanis. But, uh, again, can't afford. But these things will change soon. Alright, I'm probably not going to be able to forward another noble, so let's go and unmark all of these potential locations here. I might try to figure out who is at Jalmaris, um, just to talk to them. Oh, and this guy um, just gave one Tubalus castle, so I'm going to take you off the list. Now, th the list of people that are landless are going to constantly be changing, so it's something I have to put a lot of work in and update. Um, a Krotor is unlikely to join me because uh, he's got such a big family. If he did join, he'd be really expensive. Alright, so it was the third guy in my roster here, Julios. Joran of Julios that was last seen near Jalmaris. Actually, Tubalus Castle just got besieged by Talas of Azurai, so it's possible that, um, here, T-U-B-L, Tubalus Castle owned by Sarandon. All right, let's add you back on because, uh, well, to be honest, your castle's under siege right now, so. So. Yeah, you might lose it. <laughs> It'd be good for me. All right, I am, of course, paying a lot of money in tribute. Um, so in hopes to trim the tribute down, let's go start a war. Oh, Black of the Forest people, I was looking for you for a long time. So the first thing I want to do is to pick up my troops, and also let's rally quite the army. 
I am going to use all of my influence to get a 2k, maybe not all the influence, let's uh, let's cherry pick a little bit, I'm going to leave some of the, let's sort by cost, or actually sort by, uh, I'll sort by distance in a second. Alright, Legeta, we are becoming ever poorer. Alright, so I have a nice big army now of all Valandians. I have a few free spots, but I'm not going to worry about that. Um, I think my first step will be to bear down on Azurai. And I was right, Tubalist Castle did just flip, so uh, that potential vassal is free yet again. Oh, and here's Krotor, who I wanted to talk to all along. Oh, no, not demands. This is the one with a lot of a lot of relatives. Let's see, you're honest, honorable. Oh, there's no way for me to... There was no critical success. Okay. Well, I tried. Alright, let's rally a big army here. First off, sort by cost. I'm going to take the free ones. And then sort by distance. Done. And we are going to go to war pretty much immediately. I have, I had, you know, it's it's almost a matter of of affording it. This is my, I have like nine days of gold to pay people. All right, so Q Yaz here has a uh, a pretty healthy amount of defenders. But, um, not something I wouldn't, you know, I, I can knock it over. The other, other question is, let's try to figure out who is weaker between Valandia and Azurai. Oh, it's definitely Azurai. I'm almost equally matched. And everybody wants to go to war with them. So, this I am okay with. And it looks like, um, Valandia is actually kicking the, the snot out of them a little bit. So, all I have to do right now is wait for my armies to rally to me, and here they come. Thunk, thunk. I do have about 15 days of food. I have more food than gold, so that's good. Here comes some more. A lot more. Alright, let's go ahead and form a official declaration of war, rather than the underhanded... Declaration of War, where I lose influence. And... There it is. Everybody wanted it. So I'm going to jump in and start besieging the town. I'm going to build uh, the standard siege equipment. And defenders can't show up to help Qyaz, but uh, attackers can. Oh my god, here we go. Ba-doom, 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 ba-doom. This is a war party. This, this here is a war party. I can also... Um, Spend a little influence to call some more. Now, I've basically used all of my influence here, so I don't have the nice fluffy amount of influence to be able to pad, uh, you know, I'm basically banking big here. But I'm okay with that. 
Okay, we have nine days of food. And we outnumber them so much. Oh, hi, Sven. And as you can see, because of our giant war party, uh, the siege towers are getting built very, very quickly. All right. And I am going to switch my gear around because I remembered to do it this one time. Oh, you know what? I gave away my shield. <laughs> uh, to Alda. And I sold. Okay, never mind. Never mind. I remembered to do it, but I'm not doing it. Done. I will bring my very easily recognizable Rumfalia onto the field. Now, I don't have um, any shields or anything like that. So I got to be a little careful about positioning here, which means rushing the wall like I normally do. Oh, looks like someone else has got my back. I was going to shoot him, but, uh, well, he took an arrow from someone else. Now I'm just sort of waiting for the siege towers and hoping that we don't take too much losses in the process of waiting. I don't really have an angle on any of those. Let's see if I move around a little. I like this spot because there's not a lot of angles that anyone can get on me. Oh, that's cute. your head. There we are. This whole wall rendered, I think, pretty much they're all dead. Alright, these guys are shooting my battering rams. Where's my arrows going? Oh, there they go. Alright, good. We've had extraordinarily minimal losses in the process of pushing up the battering ram. I'm trying to keep the, uh, the siege troops somewhat protected from the archers. As you can see, we have a wall of... a shield wall here. We're trying to do the same. Every now and then one drops, but uh, I don't know. That's just that's just war, right? All right, here comes the siege towers. Ow! Where'd that come from? You. Oh, I see you too. Let's stop getting hit now. It's going to be important for me to stay upright. I've already tanked a bunch. Alright, the door is coming down. Uh, let me swing the other way. Something's hit me hard, so I'm going to move around. Oh, yep. I got some shooters over that way. 
Oh, come on, don't get stuck. So all these troops here are fleeing. Oh, damn. <laughs> that was a bad place for me to sit. Uh, they literally spawned on me. Some things cannot be avoided, but luckily we do have the numbers to take this town. Um, even if I'm unconscious. So I'll speed through the rest of the battle here. I guess I picked an extraordinarily bad place to stand. Probably the worst place that could have existed. I'm surprised the front gate still hasn't fallen, but I suppose they do keep spawning on it. But uh, it looks to me like we've taken walls. No, maybe not. This is tighter of a fight than I thought it would be. But that's the uh, defending advantage that you could see here pretty clearly. We outnumber them two to one and... And, uh... And they're, basi they're, they're just basic militia, right? They're not even full troops. Man, this... I missed the vast, vast majority of this fight. Now, here we go. Now they're being overrun. This is the cleanup at this point. Yeah, they're being cleaned up out of the out of the walls. And then the front gate is falling. And they're fleeing. And it was a Pyrrhic costly victory, but a victory nonetheless. I will take uh, all of them prisoner. All right. Go to the keep. Who wants to talk to me in the Lord's Hall? Uh, trust in... Okay, I know that's a bugged conversation, so I'm not going to bother. All right, let's make a little bit of money, which is going to be important because we are nearly broke. One of the things I might be able to do is sell some of my pricier horses uh, if I need to pay for things. Let's take a look. Okay, there's not a single piece of armor that is worth keeping. Uh, there's no bows worth keeping. No blades worth keeping. Um, I do need a shield, but I'm not going to worry about it. Because of my urgent need to pay for an army. And then... Let's choose the prisoners to be ransomed. We want to ransom off the ones that I'll never be able to recruit because the rest of these prisoners I might be able to uh, add to my army at some point. Now I do have some troops ready to be leveled up, but I'm not going to bother doing that because, again, price. And now I have a castle to potentially give away to one of my uh, vassals. And my bow skill leveled up. So strong bows increase my damage by 8%. And tier 3 plus troops in my formation gain damage to bows. Now that's captain skill that I'm not going to be able to benefit from. Or this is a party leader. Um, I'm actually going to do trainer. Actually, no, I don't have bows. So I'm going to do strong bows. Because trainer wouldn't really help. Because all the troops in my, uh, in my party are always crossbowmen. So... There's the fall of Kuyas, and we are marching south to new territory. Oh, here's Nuker's army. Hi, Nuker. He's, uh, I think having, um, second guess on himself. Uh, another thing I want to do is to... Give away the recruit. And let me take your pikemen. Any, uh, any Valandian that I can take off of them, I will. 
So I'm just going to take a second to grab uh, Valandians from Damien and Trustin's parties. Doesn't look like they have many. Despite being in Valandian territory, they recruited like one Valandian each. Alright, so the issue here is Nuker, the moment I stop pursuing him, will turn around and try to besiege uh, Kuyaz, and I don't want that to happen. But I would rather take the castles that are around here. So I'm going to try to chase him away and then double back to Einbalik Castle. Trying to get him to, uh, well, basically to piss off. Also, in the process of chasing him down, a lot of the uh, troops that I got wounded in last engagement are being uh, healed. And I know I have some troops that could be upgraded. Uh, the issue of, is, of course, money. That's my worry. Alright, so I chased him away. He still wants to besiege Kuyaz. Now, if I can carefully maneuver, I might be able to catch him. Oh, yeah. He's put himself into the coast now. I'm just curious. Alright, so they want to make peace for free here. But, uh, yeah, uh, that's not going to happen. I think you all saw that coming. Who are you? Oh, you must be a kid of someone's. Footman! Everyone! With me! So I have to be very, very, very careful. I am a sneeze away from death from that last siege. So I'm not really going to be using my troops for much, you know, I'm not going to be using my character for much more than armchair generally. Martyrs! So I have them in a sort of formation where I put all the cavalry in one big group. Alright, there we go. I like this formation. It doesn't look like they're moving towards me. But it also looks like my, um, my, oh no, they're moving towards me. No, they're not. Ride arrows! Ball soldiers! Forward! Ride Horse bowmen! Horse footmen! Cavalry! Ah! Air soldiers! Mounted on Get footmen! Ball in everyone! Air infantry! All right, I'm inching them up. Let's see if I can take this next hill. Yeah, I should be able to. Archers! Onwards! Soldiers! Forward! Mounted riders! Soldier! Footmen! Get mounted archers! Soldier! Forward! Sorry about all the random yelling. It's just when you have so many different unit groups, What's needed? Riders, hand arrows! All right, my arrows are set to fire at will. You guys are not f okay. It's mostly an issue of line of sight, I think. Archers! Ah, oh, here we go. Now they're firing. I need to push them up a little bit. Oh, This should be good. Come on. No? Oh, yep, yep. 
I'm starting to see deaths by arrows. I'm gonna switch my. Oh, here we go. Yep. A full commit. I put some of my horsemen on the other side so they can't flank me as easily. It's gonna make controlling them a beast, but uh, that's just the way it is. them forward and looks like some of their uh, lords decided to die for me there's two lords right there Mike my, my personally I'm going to try to keep their cavalry from being effective Want a duel? Odd one? He's a noble. He was a noble. Now he's a prisoner. Uh-uh. Alright, I'm having my cavalry pull back. We're doing really, really, really good against them just by knocking arrows and bolts. I gotta be real careful. Here, let me get my bow out. Bye bye, buddy. Oh, are you a noble? I'll take risks for a noble. Out of my way. Yep, that was Nuker himself, the leader of the army. Held by my Rumfalia, just like everybody else. Alright, telling my cavalry to lead themselves, basically. Well, who are you? You look fancy. Ah, uh, you're just a horseman. A lot of missiles flying by my head. I don't like this. Yep. I was right to call that out. Let me roll back into my own fold here. Telling them to break, break formation to just kill, 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 because right now we're being harassed by cavalry and I don't have enough hit points to headhunt them myself. Without the risk of dying. But I will reform my um, formation soon. I just want to get rid of some of these annoying horsemen. And the counter push, retaking the territory that we've lost, quote unquote. Now I'm an arrow away from collapse, so I'm trying to be extraordinarily cautious here. Essentially taking almost zero risk. Every army needs a general.
Our counter push counter attack is going quite. It's quite effective. They're mostly just a few horsemen harassing here and there. Oops, that was uh, friendly fire. <laughs> My bad. I think I killed him. Ooh, got your horse. No, don't stab me. And now we're just playing cleanup. Oops, friendly fire again. And the win! I mean, we all knew that that was going to happen, but it's nice to see it while I'm still on my feet. Are you the... Oh, never mind. They're moving... Oh, uh, you. Oops. <laughs> Friendly fire again! I'm getting I'm into I'm that. Is that every... Yep, that's everyone. All right, so... I honestly that was a really good ratio I got three prisoners out of it uh, I liberated a whole bunch of troops got more prisoners than I have capacity for, so I'm going to ditch the lowest level ones. Um, the tier 1s first. I still need to ditch a few, so now to tier 2s. I need to ditch just a few more. 1, 2, done. Um, cool. A level 5. Oh, that armor's okay. Some chargers that are are pricey, and this will help fund. Um, this will help fund some additional combat. All right, let's go to party. Uh, first things first. Let's any of the prisoners that want to join me get to join. Um, uh, let's give away. I like how some of my, uh, uh, the people in my army, um, I've, like, never introduced myself to. It's like, oh, hi, uh, you don't know me, but I'm your queen. Hello, and welcome. All right, so now all my non-Valandians are kicked out to Trustin and Damien. Uh, I wanted to take a look at Sonala. Our army disbanded. I ran out of influence. Okay, that's all right. So, what I need to do here is... First things first, I won't be able to add a whole bunch of them in. Because they are going to be too low on uh, troops to be able to afford to join me. But uh, now it leaves a bunch of my vassals to maraud around the desert, which is fine. I'm totally okay with this. All right, so Q Yaz, Castle. Everybody wants to give it to Fafin. I'm okay with this. All right, Fafin, congratulations. And now uh, he has even more reason to stay within the kingdom, queendom, as it were. Um... And Southern, just to clear a war on Botania. That's really good for me. So I'm headed over to Qyaz here to uh, ransom some and trade some. Just to make sure that I have enough money to pay for the things I need to do. Um, so first things first, choose prisoners to be ransomed. I am indeed going to... Oh. Alright. Never mind. All of the nobles that I had on me have escaped. 
that was rather quick. Uh, I'm almost offended. All right, let's ransom off the ones that will never join me because they're too high level. Stupid loyalists. And then do some trade. Uh, one of the things I might trade for is a half decent shield. Let's get a Highland round shield here. Lock it down. Trade away the rest of my um, rest of my loot. I have 14 days of food. Getting a little bit more food. I, I will still have to... Oh, uh, we have some armor. I don't think anyone's going to want any of this armor. It's not good enough. So I'll get five grand out of that. And that right there is a really, really good ending place. So just to recap, we added a whole, whole bunch of vassals um, to the point where if you take a look at the kingdom diplomacy... We're just about equal footing with the Azerai. Now, it's kind of unfortunate that my uh, my town siege ended with me getting knocked out so early, but in the long run, I feel pretty good about this. Um, we're also, yeah, we're walloping them pretty good. Um, if you have any tips, tricks, feedback for me, do drop me a line. Next episode, you can almost certainly count on me continuing the war with Azerai. Uh, I'll catch you all next episode. Very happy how this one went. Adios all.